Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever book chat video. Today I'm going to be talking about Fallen Angel by David Lamour. I was sent a PDF version of this book by the author in exchange for an honest review. I have also done a written review of this book on my blog which I will leave a link to in the description down below. Um, this is going to be spoiler free so if you want to read this book you can continue to watch this video and read my review so that is absolutely fine. Brief overview of the plot, this is about a girl called Evelyn who moves to Montana to live with her aunt and uncle after the tragic death of her parents in New York and she enrols at a new high school and she is immediately wanted by the popular crowd to become one of them and the beautiful high school hunk Brandon immediately sets his sights on her much to the jealousy of the cheerleaders and the popular girls um, but she isn't really interested and she instead befriends this really awesome, witty, quirky, nerdy girl called Brooke who is definitely one of my favourite characters in this by far and Brooke cunningly sets her up on a date with Brandon because she wants her friend to get the guy that all the girls want um, but unfortunately for Brandon and for Brooke Evelyn has set her sights on the beautiful, mysterious boy called Halel in her AP history class. And as she gets to know him, um, she kind of figures out that Halel is perhaps not quite what he seems. And because he is this beautiful, perfect force, um, I think the reader knows that um, there's something very, very dark about him and his family and friends and everything that goes along with that. Um, I will say that the character of Evelyn I was not the biggest fan of and that unfortunately didn't really change throughout the book. Um, she does redeem herself slightly at the end but I just kind of found her a little bit annoying, I found her a little bit childish. Um, you will know if you watch my videos I tend to like my female protagonists to be quite strong and quite independent and um, able to look after themselves whereas Evelyn isn't really like that um, she's quite submissive she's quite passive um, she relies on stronger braver characters to protect her which I didn't really like um, she's not I don't hate her but I just didn't really connect with her like I do um, with perhaps some of my other favorite female characters in popular series um, Halo I absolutely adored um, there wasn't a case of insta love between him and Evelyn which I didn't wasn't really the biggest fan of I don't really like that but I have to admit I did kind of feel it myself I I felt it with Halo from the first um, appearance in the book I was like yeah this guy is gorgeous um, but because knowing what this book was about I did have my suspicions about him from the start um, and yeah they were confirmed um, um, my other favourite characters were Brooke, which I think I said in the introduction, I absolutely loved her and there definitely wasn't enough of her in this book. I wanted more Brooke, certainly towards the end of the book. Um, also Brandon, I kind of judged too harshly at the start because I kind of thought he was kind of the typical jock kind of guy and um, actually he turned out to be a whole lot more than that and I was actually in tears towards the end over Brandon. So yeah, I was really surprised about that. Um, obviously there is a lot of uh, Christian mythology involved in this. Actually the whole plot kind of revolves around the creation story and um, what it actually means to be an angel or a demon and the whole kind of complexity of good versus evil. Um, the message that is definitely given to us at the end is um, that you know nothing is ever all good or all evil there is dark in every light and light in every darkness and I mean that's really really true and I think it's a really important message for everyone to take away with them into their lives and to remember when making honest decisions about people in their lives and where they're going to go from there um the writing itself was quite simple um there wasn't and I kind of like lyricality and beauty in words and sentences and things like that that's what I really like in my favorite books all of my favorite books have great big beautifully written passages and things like that and there wasn't a lot in the way of that in this um but there were a few lines that kind of made me step back and think oh that's really really beautiful I would never have thought to put it like that um and I did actually leave some of my favorite quotes in my written review which as I said I will link in the description down below um 
It was a really enjoyable read on the whole. There were a lot of very entertaining action scenes where I was completely absorbed. Um, and the characters actually did become more believable as the book went on. Um, so I am actually going to be giving this uh, three and a half stars. Um, it wasn't quite a four star read for me because it didn't quite grab me in the way that I wanted it to. And as I said, I tend to prefer beautiful lyrical writing and it was quite just straight to the point type writing. Um, but I, I would really be interested in reading the sequel, definitely. Um, I would definitely recommend it for fans of Twilight even though I'm not a fan of Twilight at all um, because it does have those kind of elements in it obviously it's a YA paranormal with a cast of beautiful men and frustratingly um, passive women um, but I would also recommend it for fans of Supernatural like I am and of course any kind of YA Angel series, the Hush Hush series, the Penman and End of Day series, um, the Fallen series, anyone who likes YA Angel Demon stories and perhaps anyone that has an interest in religion as well would probably really enjoy this because there is obviously a lot of religion parallels, there are a lot of creation story parallels and they actually become really apparent and they unravel towards the end which is actually really interesting to see so yeah I did really really enjoy that so those are my thoughts on Fallen Angel by David Lamour. Does it sound like the kind of book that you want to read? As I said, I will leave a written review down below so you can read through my thoughts, see what my favourite quotes were and things like that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing book chats very often because, as I said, I kind of voice my thoughts when I'm writing a review. I tend to think about them better when I'm writing them down as opposed to speaking because when I finished a book and I want to review it my thoughts are kind of all over the place so I kind of talking to a camera about my thoughts on a book isn't really the kind of style that I do my reviews in I prefer to write my reviews but if you guys enjoyed this and if you guys would want more book chats I certainly am reading books at the moment that I do have a lot to say and I'm going to be writing reviews of anyway so if you guys think that I should do more book chats then please please let me know and I will certainly think about doing that as all, normal I will leave all of my social media down below I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you very soon for another video bye bye